you talked about friends, which we yeah. can we can definitely discuss. I mean, we yeah. we become like the people we hang out with. That's every every self help book has always said that, and it's so true. So, how did you handle going through? friend changes. And I know when I left my corporate job, I made the decision, like they all went to the bars every night. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to go home. I'm going to read, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do something different than that. And they didn't like, we never had a discussion. It wasn't like, we hate you. It was, we just stopped hanging out. And when we did hang out, there wasn't anything to talk about because I was like, I'm going this way. I'm doing this. How did that? I'd like to talk about that a little bit. Cause I think that's something that holds a lot of people back. Friendships are rough and it's, it, they can be brutal. I think in my twenties, like I just wanted to be liked by everybody and you know, high school, whatever too. And you just really want to cling to those relationships and have the fun and the parties and, um, or at least that's how I was. And then when I was in those jobs, I was mistaking friendships or those cues as to like, we're friends, but they're like, no, we're just colleagues. Or I would think all my acquaintances were my friends. Right. Um, and as I got a little bit wiser, smarter, um, you know, I think I had some good friends. I was always, I'm, I'm incredibly loyal. I'm loyal to a T and I'm probably too loyal. Um, like I would help you move a body, you know, like, all right, let's do this kind of thing. And, um, and so I just, I had, but I'm also pretty brazen. Like you cross that loyalty and we're done, like cut off, done. But what was really hard with some friendships is where we live is that we live in a small town right now, um, a small community in the foothills outside of Boise, Idaho. And I love this neighborhood. It is a fantastic neighborhood for kids. It's great. The bad thing about it, though, it's a small community outside of Boise. And so, you know, really a lot of people know everybody. Everybody knows your kids. Everyone knows your kids. And that's tough. And so, but with that comes friendships that have been lost over what you do, how you raise your kids. Um, oh my gosh, you're not doing that anymore, but you're doing this now. Like what the heck? And, and it's hard and it stinks, but I think you're absolutely right. Like you have to surround yourself with the people who are going to make you better, who support you, who, who push you, nudge you. And as I've gotten older, um, my sphere of friendships has, my inner circle has just become smaller and I'm okay with that. Um, I'm, I'm okay with the people that I know that I can count on and I'm, but I'm also okay with meeting new people, but I don't necessarily have to say they're going to be my best friend. They're going to be my great friend. They need to be in my inner circle. Like it's okay to have these people in your life for a purpose, for a season. And some people aren't okay with me saying that they're like, that's just wrong. So you're using them. I'm like, no, but for a season, there might be a reason like why you guys are really together. And then it there's people it, change. People change. I mean, not, um, I've got a girlfriend who calls it breaking code, you know, like where we're in entrepreneurs and a lot of people don't understand that. And some people like, I just couldn't talk to them anymore because they were nine to five or they just didn't understand what I was doing or the fact that like, for a while there, I was the only one to answer the responses to the emails or take the phone calls or come up with the new ideas or work, whatever it was that I had to work hard. And they got to leave it wherever, or they were, they were work from home moms or stay, stay at home moms. And that's fine too. I mean, I thought I was never, ever, ever going to be, want to be a stay at home mom. Um, and then I, I got the chance to be a work from home mom and I would never do I would never work in a place again, like knock on wood, but I would never be a nine to five or, or, or have an office outside of the home. Like I love having complete influence over my kids every day, but some of my past friends didn't have the same belief. And they thought that I was lowering my standards to come and do what it is I was doing. They just didn't understand. You know, it took my mom quite a while too. I mean, for a while there, she would ask me like, are you still doing that hobby? Easy peasy kitchen, that, that thing she would call it that thing. And I was like, yeah, mom, you know, that thing that pays for everything that we do. Absolutely. I'm doing it, you know? And, um, but we've gotten to travel the world now, you know, I went to, I've biked through, um, Netherlands to, um, uh, Germany, uh, we did for my 40th birthday, we've done, um, Italy all the way up to the coast on a yacht into, um, France. We've done, um, 
Vietnam. I mean, I did Greece. Uh, you know, it's like all these, all these things that were in my heart that I wanted to do that, that, um, I now get to do because of the steps that I took to take. Um, they weren't easy creating a business, becoming an entrepreneur, losing friendships, friendships that you, you, uh, you know, somewhere I was really surprised by. Um, but it was just clearing the way to make room for, you know, people like you and, um, you know, being able to meet other new people that really could influence my life in a positive way. That's, I mean, that's even talking about your, your marriage. Like it was the same thing, like being around people who are positive influences, who can call you on your crap, who can, who can help support you when you need support and can, and can push you in a positive direction. Yeah, It's the world is so full of people who don't want to have a hard discussion or they constantly, yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. They're yes people. Yeah. And that's, that's not what you really want as a friend. I don't think entrepreneurs can be that way. We're just wired right. to be like, okay, let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. Let's fix it. Let's like, we're honest with each other. Yeah. Um, are you looking to scale your business, but trying to figure out how to get your message across? Well, go to storyselling.how to grab my free course that will show you how to discover everything that you need to build your business through stories. These stories work whether it's in social media, email, or public speaking. There are five core stories that you'll learn. You'll be able to use all of them by the time you're done with this course. Again, that is storyselling.how. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to tune in next time.